Hey everyone, it's Lexi. Now, I know a lot of you are probably wondering where I've been for the past like two weeks. Well, um, I've kind of been like dying. Uh, first I had a stomach bug that did not want to go away. And then I had a viral infection um basically like sore throat cough all that fun stuff and i just couldn't sit in front of a camera i couldn't edit i just didn't want to really do anything and then um what happened was is i ended up breaking a piece of my tripod because i went to go film when i was feeling a little better and i knocked it over and it broke so i couldn't film for a while until the piece came in the mail. I also haven't been uploading because for me um, midterms have been a real stressor for me and um, I couldn't find the time to film, edit, study, all that fun stuff because I'm also in track and then I have FPLA and it just got too much. I've decided that it is best for me as a student. Um, to only upload once a week until school is over in June because I cannot possibly do homework, film and edit two videos a week, go to track practice, get home late at night and try to do all of it. So it's, it's just going to be easier for me until the school year is over with. So I really wish that I was able to put this up a lot sooner because by now the product has been out already and you probably can't get it on Sephora because this was a limited time thing. But I was sent um, this by Andrea Gray. Uh, if you guys don't know her, she is my aunt. You all should go follow her. You know, her name is just Andrea Gray. Just um, for the first time, apparently, Sephora collabed with an influencer for the first time. Um, no offense, but I had, didn't even know Olivia Jade was a person. Um, I'm not trying to offend anyone if you do watch her videos, but I personally did not know who she was. So when I found this out and I was sent this, I did a little research. This was two weeks ago, mind you, so it could have changed from then, from, from then, from, th okay. Uh, so basically when I was looking through on Sephora's like main Instagram page, I saw nothing about this. Like I didn't even know this was a thing because this was a Sephora collection collab. Um, I went on the Sephora collection Instagram thing um, and they had some um, posts but there wasn't a lot about the product I felt like and for Sephora collabing for the first time with a influencer I would just think that they would want to put it on their main page promote it a lot um, because it's like their first time doing it and like it's a new product so why not from whatever when I look at the packaging the little unicarton is it's cute I, then I went and I watched Livia's little like review slash like show off of her little collection thing and some of them she used as eyeshadows because obviously every single shade is not going to flatter every single person. So that's probably what I'm going to do because yeah some of these are definitely not going to work as a highlight for me. So when you open up the packaging it comes it comes in a styrofoam tube and inside you get this little um card it's just like a little thank you card for her subscribers the one thing that i really don't like about sephora collection is i feel like their packaging is very lackluster like i know that it's like their brand like that's how all of their palettes are made but i'm just not a big fan so this is the packaging it's just a little plastic little thing and it's got six big pans of the products. Like I said, um, I kind of wish since they collabed with someone that she added her own little touch on the actual packaging itself because it just kind of looks boring. So this is what it looks like close up. I don't know if my lighting is doing justice for it, but I think I'm going to swatch these. Okay, so these are the three shades, and I'm going to swatch them on my wrist. Twinkle, Angel Face, Magic. 18, 
a YOLO. Right there. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try to use the bronzer. Um, if it's too dark, um, I have my Marc Jacobs bronzer that I can just use instead. But just looking at the swatches, they look very, very um, pigmented. Here, I'll try to show you guys again. They look very, very pigmented um, and very sparkly. So we're going to dip into um, Legal. Oh my god, that is so freaking dark. Wow, that is dark. Like, really dark. Um, I guess we're just going to go with it because it's on my face now. And then I'm going to take a bigger brush and I'm going to dip back into it very lightly. Tap very lightly because um, there's a lot of color payoff. And I'm just going to bronze up my, my forehead. Okay, so what um, is everyone's thoughts? I think that um, it's a little dark for me, personally, but um, it blended out really nicely. Um, the only thing is, is, is that it is a little dark. Um, I think the next thing we're going to do is we're going to try some of these on my lids. So I'm going to do what she said in the video, and I'm just going to take uh, 18 again and i'm just going to uh try to just do like a simple eye look with it and we're gonna see how these um highlighters perform i'm gonna be taking the shade um i'm gonna take yolo which is this one and i'm just going to apply that all over the lid and we're gonna see what happens So, I don't know if you will. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see, but it definitely is um, pigmented and definitely is shiny. Um, if you are going to be using this palette or if you have it, like I said um, at the time of recording this, I don't know if it's still out for the public because this was limited edition. But um, I definitely think if you add setting spray to it, it's going to help a lot. With the pigmentation of it um this definitely is a very pretty color so since wetting um a brush definitely helped um with pigmentation i'm going to do that again and this time i think i'm going to go i'm kind of feeling this yellow shade to be honest with you we're gonna try the yellow one this one is um twink twinkie twinkie this is twinkie So that is it with the first layer compared to the swatch um it could also be the brush that i was using um it's not as pigmented as the swatch let me try applying it with a finger actually okay yeah so this is okay this shade is definitely pigmented um to get the most pigment use your finger because um yeah finger definitely definitely made it much more pigmented so since um the shade magic is such like um, a white shade i'm going to use that to highlight the brow bone and the inner corner now i don't know if, if you guys can see it but there is um a bit of fallout I'm not actually the biggest fan of the shade. Um, personally, uh, if you're gonna use this to highlight like a brow bone or something, 
Um, if you have the Jack and Hale palette, the original one, I would use the um, the two top shades over this one um, because this one it's just not not my favorite for highlighting the brow bone. But um, so I think this one so far is my least favorite shade. So I think I'm gonna go in with um, 18 first, which is this one. Ooh, that is pretty. Like, are you seeing that? Like, I'm just gonna keep like layering on that highlight, man. Like, mmm. Mm-hmm. Like, do you see that? Do you see that? Do you do you see this? That is crazy, my dude. Honestly, I would use this shade over my Anastasia palette. Like, just just look at it. Just like just just oh my gosh. Mm. Enough fangirling over the shade. Let's do Angel Face. Like just 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 look at these shades. Like that looks that looks so good oh my gosh okay I'm about to go into like a highlight frenzy right now I'm gonna take um YOLO on our finger and we're just gonna put that on the little thing on my nose and then I'm gonna put uh, 18 over top of it cuz <laughs> highlights the gods my dude and like why not like here and like here and like every freaking where oh my god dude like like my dude like i'm like blinding you i have so much highlighter on my face right now oh my gosh i look so crazy but like dude that is so good like okay I know that like this is gonna be really close, but like I want you to just like take take that in, take it in. So my final thoughts on the palette: if you can still get your hands on it, definitely buy it. Definitely like this palette more than my um, Anastasia one. Um, I will tell you that, that there is uh, some fallout with this. Um, the pans are a little messy, but the formula is really good. Um, again, be careful with the bronzer. Tap very lightly, or else you're gonna get like a brown like really ugly brown streak if you like a more natural glow um i definitely would try a different highlight or use a very very light hand with this one because this one is like out to like get you because like girl i kind of hope that this helped you i'm sorry i haven't been really active on social media or YouTube, or youtube lately that's definitely gonna change every friday you guys are going to get a video from now on i promise if you guys like what you saw, please hit, hit that like button and subscribe button down below. And don't forget to turn on my post notifications so you guys don't miss any uploads that I put up on my channel. And uh, yeah, see you guys later and bye.